Now to begin part four, I need to address this because I think it of the utmost importance. What you're looking at is the private email that I did send to Paul Begley. And you can read the entire uh, contents of this private email if you go to the video in question uh, I bring before the church with Paul Begley and find out exactly what I told him and that I did go to him uh, in love and give him the benefit of the doubt. But what I want to draw your attention to is you can see from tmasblue7, T-M-A-S-B-O-U-E-7 at AOL.com and to the recipient, Paul Begley and his email address. So you can see that this was actually uh, sent to him. But what I want to draw your attention to, because he said he had responded, and uh, I still gave him the benefit of the doubt. I spent a half of a day going through all of my emails, all of my personal messages, all of my spam folders to see if somehow it got uh, uh, sent in uh, to spam or I deleted it by mistake. I went through all of my uh, personal messages on YouTube and I could not find where he had responded to me. Let's continue on here for just a moment. And I want to show you something. Again, you can see it was addressed uh, to Paul Begley and his email address the recipient and sent from my email right here. Let's continue on just for a moment. PM private scathing email and you can go if you if you want to read the whole thing you can. I'm not going to because it's disparaging to BP, Earthwatch, to my moderators, to my wife, to my partners and to me. I'm not going to read what he said. I'm going to try to for time's sake. Uh, I don't want to spend my whole day on this. Skip ahead just a little bit. Now, if you look here, it's regarding BP Earthwatch. And what I what I uh, asked you to do is to go to the video, Pastor Begley response. Uh, there is no uh, recipient. <laughs> it does not show where this was sent to anyone. Let's see if we can find it uh, somewhere, a little bit better view of because this. Because he says in his email that I didn't. He says he gave me 24 hours to respond, and when I didn't, he was going public. He was trying to blackmail me. So I Right here, now, it shows regarding BP Earthwatch, but you know if you're on YouTube and you have received a personal message and you want to reply back, who are you replying to? Nowhere. Does this show that this is being this was sent to me? Uh, that this was a sent mail. Well, I'll be right back. So I just wanted to cover that. This was never, never sent to me. There is no recipient, as there was with the private email. I just wanted to cover that base, and uh, I'll be right back. We'll continue, and I'm hopefully we can conclude. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I want to move quickly and just get to the issues at hand that need to be addressed. I don't want to waste my entire Sunday on this. I apologize for any background noise or disturbances uh, that you may hear, but let's move ahead. I've moved ahead a little bit forward just to address uh, what I feel needs to be addressed on my part. Let's continue. Bonded to him in private, so that's, what, that's it. That wasn't good enough. He did a video. He goes, he rants and raves for I don't know how many minutes. Uh, he does some crocodile tears and tries to say he's so sad he has to bring this to the body of Christ. <laughs> uh, he has no authority anyway to bring me before anything. Okay, I was, uh, he's not. No, he says I have no authority to bring him before anything or anyone. And I, uh, I urge you, Pastor Paul Magley, to get deep, to come out of religion, get deep in, into the Word, and you will uncover that indeed I do have the authority to bring you before the church. But it is biblical, it is sound teaching and sound doctrine uh, to do so. Let's continue on. He has no authority, okay? I was ordained in 1984 by my father's independent, by my father. No, he was ordained in 1984, and I never call this into question, by his father did, and I have to ask, you were ordained by a family member. 
a father, or we could be ordained by a sister or a brother, but did you go to seminary? Not that it's important. Did you actually study? Did you have the laying on of hands ordination? And I only bring this up because you, uh, in a roundabout way, have accused me of not being an ordained minister. Do you have documentation, and would you please present that? Because you say your father uh, ordained you. Now, let's continue. And I'm not attacking. I'm not bashing. I'm just asking the same question and presenting uh, a question kind of as he did uh, in regards to me per, uh, pertaining that uh, and making the accusation that I was not an ordained minister. We're an independent Baptist church. Uh, I was ordained in 1996 by Dr. Lester Summerall out of South Bend, Indiana. And uh, even Dr. Summerall, who's the great man of faith, even laid hands on me and prophesied. Dr. Lester Summerall, um, the great man of faith that prophesied and laid hands on you. So he just laid hands on you and declared you to be a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'll be back in one moment. We've got to be careful who we associate with and who we bring in before the church as someone, a man of God, because I want to share with everyone, and I, I need to do this, exactly who Lester Summerall is and what his teaching is. I'll be right back. Now I present this to the church and for your discernment regarding Lester Summerall. And ordained in 1984 as a Baptist preacher, and then and then ordained again in 1996 by Dr. Lester Sumrall. I command the heads of the China Bank to die of cancer. Oh, he said, I'm scared. I said, don't you be scared. I'm giving the orders. I'm going to save you. But he went and did it. You talk about the second round. He had so many people you couldn't count them. When you tell a bank to go bankrupt, everybody on every street runs down that way to, to see if they got money in that bank. I'd love the entire body of Christ, Catholics, Christians, all denominations. And then, and, and I mean, there's just so much going on. So please, don't fight with each other. I beg you, children. I beg you. Protestants, Catholics, Jews different denominations of Christianity. Please, know that the Bible says in the last days, it talks about a lamb that was slain with seven eyes. That's the seven different denominations of Christ. Unbelievable, but I had to share that. So we are saying that we are to uh, love the Catholic denomination out of Rome and the Vatican. We are to love uh, the followers but we are not to condone the atrocities of the Roman Catholic Church. And are we to bring in also uh, the Jehovah Witness and the Mormon religion? And that are they are not of the seven churches. I'll be right back. Now, there is one last issue that I have to address. It's regarding uh, the death of a nephew of mine, David, and where uh, Paul Begley makes clear in this video, but he sent an offering to help pay for the funeral costs and funeral expenses. I received an outpouring of email and personal messages uh, asking me about this, about what a wonderful thing Paul Begley has done in private. Let me take you to, uh, let me play the audio of this, and then I will address this issue, and then we're done. We're finished. Here we go. Because it's not you're not supposed to say what you do in private, but I am going to say this. Well, hold on, let me back it up just for a moment. I think we missed part of this. Let's uh, try it here. Both this. Why didn't you tell him that when your nephew died, that I sent money to help pay for his funeral? I would never say it in a million years. I do this all the time. Matter of fact, am I going to say that? Because it's not you're not supposed to say what you do in private. You're not supposed to say what you do in private. And I want to address this because Paul Begley did do a wonderful thing. And I thank him numerous times over and over. He did give an offering of $100 to help pay for the funeral expenses. But as he says, we're not 
supposed to present our alms before men, uh, our good deeds, our merciful deeds that we do. And the reason I haven't mentioned this, I didn't feel the need, because in the original video we're going to go to now, that I posted, Rest in Peace David, where I explained the financial situation that the family was in. They didn't have the money for the funeral. You will see that Paul Begley, in the comments section with his picture there, presenting his alms before men, makes a statement in the comments section what a wonderful thing he is going to do. And that's all fine. That's beside the point. But that's why I didn't uh, uh, make mention of this. He already did this himself. Hold on. And let me take you to the comment section of that video. I'll be right back and we are, then we will be finished. Now we're almost finished here. This is the original video back from December 13, 2013, where I brought to uh, everyone's attention the death of a nephew, David, uh, and where Paul Bankley did do a, a nice, uh, a nice gesture, and he gave a hundred dollars towards the help uh, of the burial, the, the funeral expenses. And as he states, we're supposed to do things in private, not put our arms before men. But let me explain this to all of you, that I did thank him. I thanked him numerous times, and it was a nice, nice thing that he had done. But the reason I didn't uh, make mention of this is rather than put his arms before men, he made sure, instead of coming to me in private, uh, in a private email or a phone call or a private message, he made sure everyone in the comment section of this video uh, seen his good uh, and merciful deeds. So let me show you this if I can. Let's go to the comment section. If you can look right here, I don't know how to bring it up any closer. There's Paul Begley's picture in the comment section right here. And Paul Begley, and he leaves this comment, I was just notified about this young man and his death. Now, this wasn't done in private. It's in the comments of this video, so everyone could see what a good thing he has done. So, Pastor Dave, we are so sorry for your loss. I will send money to help out. God bless Pastor Paul Begley. It wasn't done in, in secret or in a private. And I want to do make mention that... Uh, the website for the fundraiser now is that has been taken down but on the fundraising website Paul Begley was it was Paul Begley and one other person let identified themselves and how much the gift was every other single person that through this fundraiser remained anonymous when we did not know who they were uh, they remained anonymous but Paul Begley his picture was right up there for everyone to see that he had given a donation of a hundred dollars. Now I'm done. That explains that. Uh, and now I'm going to put this behind me. I've answered all of the allegations and I am finished. God bless you all.